What is going on Toy Fan? Project Piper Customs here and welcome back once again to Toy Photography and this time the journey continues. What is going on everyone? As you can see I am not in my usual dwelling hole. I am in somewhere completely different and I am not alone. So introduce yourself sir. Hello, As guys. you can see, I am with Total Boy 83 Pietro, and uh, yeah, I am going to be taking him on a course of live, one-to-one, -one, in-person, eye-to-eye, and face-to-face -to -face toy photography coaching, okay? So he's going to be uh, setting up his own setup, so if you back out, you can see we're starting here, TMT themed, obviously, and uh, yeah, so we're going to be cracking on, and I will be guiding him every step of the single way. And at the end of it, we'll see how he does. So yeah, enjoy the ride. Okay, you can just about see him. So Pietro, guide us through what you want to do. <laughs> All right, so Pietro. You ready to tell us what we're going to be doing today? So today we're going to shoot uh, on this diorama, Secret, uh, Secret of the U's uh, dog diorama. So the, the brothers on top of it and I don't know, let's have some fun. Alright, so we've got the Secret of the U's turtles here. We have his fabulous dog diorama. Alright, so Pietro, take it away. How I want to display them and uh, what uh, which is expression we're gonna use? Maybe we're gonna have them worried about what happened to the shredder, mm -hmm. or them before they say "kabobonga." No, uh, choices, choices, my man, choices, <laughs> choices. So let's see. Yeah, she can have like one maybe poking her head around the door, or you can have them all four lined up, uh, like gazing off, looking, trying to find the shredder. It's totally your call, cool, whatever you want to do there. But yeah, start off with the, the posing and then we're going to work on the camera angle before we get into any of the lighting. Yeah, change the hand. Not that one! Which one? <laughs> and here we have a toy photographer. Watch as he poses the figure. He uh, fell over. <laughs> he fell over. It wasn't me. Look at the beads of sweat. <laughs> Inspection. Inspection. Mm. <laughs> Do it again. There we are. You can see visual reference right there. Wide version of the shot. We are condensing it. Well, I say we. Him. It's all about the details. What are we doing now then? Um, just stealing the size from another figure. <gasps> mm -hmm. Good tip right there. Yeah. Get the pose down and uh, feet flat on the flat surface first before getting him posed up on the dio. Is Mikey too smiley? Is it Mikey too smiley? Should no, but that was really fake. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Go on. Yay! Oh, yay! Success, success. So we're changing the heads. That one was too smiley for Pietro's liking. Oh. I need your help. Come help. on, mate. Come on. Help. Grown ass man. Push it! <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't shit yourself. <laughs> hey! Celebration. We did it, see? Now the world will know what you are capable of. Oh. <laughs> so do you think we're ready for framing now? Now, some things may need to be adjusted because right now we're gonna go into framing with the camera. Okay, so what angle, tell the people at home what angle we're going for with the camera. I think because we have a limited space, yep. I think we're gonna shoot from down here, uh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. On um, portrait style. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's rock and roll. All right. So we have the camera set up. Okay. 
and happy with the framing but what we're going to do we need to now focus on the shot so Pietro what you want to do is the box is already hovering over your main focal point which would be Donny so now what you want to do is you want to hit these uh, this zoom button twice until yep. it's right in okay so do that for us in yep. in okay. and now looking through that the very top you can adjust it yeah. to get the focal point there should be enough light on the subject to get there already all right Yeah. Think okay. This is now hit the plus button one more time. And plus? Yep. Now bring you out. So now, obviously, Pose. we need to, uh, we've got a bit of the. Ah, yeah. So we need to just tilt the camera slightly down a bit. All right. So if you do that, it will turn on its own knuckle. There you go. There you go. All right. And okay. Now... And now you can spread them out. Now you know what room you've got to work with. Yeah. Okay. In the frames, you can spread Mike out a little bit more. Alright, I'll keep an eye on it for you. Yeah. Here too. Don't want to get cut him off, if you cut him off the frame, so get him as much in frame as possible. There you go. And uh, Mikey can go further out a little bit. Oh. Out towards the edge, that's a little bit, that's it, yep, you're right yeah. there. And it's now Raf you want to work on Raph. because Raf's getting yeah. dominated. Is it? So you want to bring him closer towards Leo. That's it. Is it? Have a look, see what you think. Let me see. Like yeah, it looks quite good, yeah. I think. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, that's where we are at the moment. So if you are happy with the staging and the posing and the framing, we can then move on to lighting. Yeah, I mean, you can e happily move Donnie over a tad this way. Yeah. Uh, and it will free up a bit of the frame from Raf. So there you go, a little bit there, that's it. And you can see Raf a bit better. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, post edit Ben here. Now, unfortunately, this segment of video, I didn't have the microphone on. I know, silly me, my bad. But with this, I do help Pietro set up the lighting, but fret not, later on in the video, I do go over the lighting one more time and I will let you know why the lights are where they are. But for now, I thought I'd take this opportunity to actually go over what lights we used. So starting with the small rig cubes. Now I bought these on Amazon in a three pack and they come with all the bells and whistles, all the trimmings, all the attachments that you could want, including color gels so you can switch the colors out and tripods. And the other light that we used in this setup was a Ulandi panel light which also comes with different colored gels and a diffusing rubber case. And I'll leave links to both of these in the description for both the UK Amazon and the US Amazon. Highly recommend these lights and these will definitely elevate your toy photography. Alright, so that's the end of the shoot and as you can see everything took a bit of a tumble and I'll roll the blooper for that right now. So yeah, uh, as we did a minor adjustment, uh, everything decided to take a tumble. That is the game, as you know, that is the game in toy photography sometimes yeah. and it's whether you want to pick everything back up or if you're happy with one of the shots you had prior, remember take multiple shots always multiple shots because you're never going to get it on the first try okay but the end result do you think we got it we got it man we yeah got it. yes good Thanks good to good your help how to position the lights and stuff i think we got it 
uh, we got a, be a very good shot. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So he's happy with his own toy shot, and now we're going to get into why, why the lighting is where it is. Just so as I was explaining it to Pietro, I can explain it to you guys at home as well. So obviously with this particular scene, and as you saw from the screenshot, we wanted to give underneath the dock that blue hue. So you have this Ulanzi light here with the filter on, and that is positioned where it's not going to be flaring against the post so much in the shot. It's more aiming towards here. And then we've got this one here again with the blue hue on. Okay, and again, that is also aiming underneath the dock, highlighting that back wall, but also giving the overall shot as it's quite open. A nice blue hue as well we changed the batteries here in this top light so that's now brighter which kind of eliminated my need to hold the snood but i did it anyway and then of course we've got this light right here and that's on our low setting and that's just giving some light to the figures in order for the camera itself to actually pick them up combine all that with the settings which i'll take you through right now Okay, as you can see, we've got 1.8 on the shutter speed. The f-stop is 8.0. ISO 200, you want to keep that low because anything higher and it will come out grainy. Okay, and of course we've got the, for the white balance, the white fluorescent light, which itself will give a natural hue of blue to the shot. Okay, so these are the things you need to think about when doing toy photography is the mood. Okay, so the idea is you want to get the backdrop lit really well and you want some natural shadows to occur where they need to along the debris and trying to avoid flaring any light into the camera itself. Okay, so with all that said, as so long as you're happy with the shot you took. Very happy, yes. Okay, shot, yes. do you think you'll be able to conquer one on your own now? I will try, yes, I have a better idea now, just have to play a bit with the setting of the camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully I will, I will be able to do it. All right. Thank you. All right, take him up on his word, okay? Because yeah. the next one I'm not going to be here for, okay? But now that you're happy and you get to see the final shot right now at the end, I think it's time to unveil it and, of course, to award him the grand prize. And there it is guys, toy photography coaching in person, right here. This is not edited. It's right here! <laughs> <laughs> and as an award, you get the very prestigious Toy Photography Evolution new t-shirt. There you are my man, oh, yeah. drape it around. <laughs> Alright, that's great. Well Thank done you, to you my man. man. And of course, if you yourself want to pick up one of these t-shirts, you can do over on my merch store. Link will be in the description and you'll see the shelf underneath this video. You get it in the white vector or the black vector. Okay. And if you feel like you've evolved into a toy photographer, then definitely it would be great if you could help support the channel. Anyway, that is it from us. That is it from him. Appreciating you let me pop round. Thank you. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button, like button, all that jazz if you want to see more toy photography content on this channel. And until next time, take care.